Guess what? This is an extra avocado. So you know what that means? I get to make one thick avocado tortilla this morning. Let's converse, shall we? So here's the thing. This week I have a big, fat, scary chemistry test on Thursday. It's the weekend right now, so you may be thinking, Joanna, why are you studying so early? Well, here's the thing. I have so many other tests to study for, and honestly, chemistry is really kicking my butt right now. So I'm gonna have to pull myself together this weekend. It's also in my best interest to start studying really early at this point, because senioritis is hitting me like a ton of bricks. You know how you're supposed to take breaks when you study? Like you're supposed to reward yourself for doing a certain amount of work? I reward myself after doing half a question. Things are going at a turtle's pace, to say the least. So in this video, I'm just gonna study for my chemistry test and you guys are gonna come along with me. I'm gonna show you some of the methods to my madness and hopefully you'll find something that you like and it might help you in your academic endeavors. Also, I would like to apologize for the madness Madness of last week's video. If you haven't heard through the grapevine, I released merch. Well, here's the thing. Oh my god. Ah, that's too much avocado. So I thought I would be all cute and funny and DIY my own merch and make a video out of it. So I posted the video on Monday of last week and you guys ended up crashing the website with so much traffic which is absolutely insane and I thank you guys so much. But here's the issue. I didn't want to ruin the surprise with the video still being up and the link not working. So I had to end up privating the video. For that, I apologize. It won't happen again. But once again, thank you guys so much for that. Anyways, let's just get into this. And then down my esophagus, that tortilla went. It was thick, dumb thick, but that's besides the point. It was time to start studying for the looming test. The teacher was gracious enough to post the lessons online. So I started by reviewing the first five of the 10 lessons. The chemistry unit in question is on equilibrium. If you want a more in-depth look at this topic, I recommend watching some videos by people who actually know what they're talking about because let's be honest here, I'm literally doing baby chemistry and I am in no position to be legitimately edumacating you. <laughs> Hello. So it's almost 1 p.m. and I am, let's say it together everyone, I'm ravenous. So I'm eating right now. This is some butternut squash. Everyone say hi. I ate a chicken booby, a chicken breasticle, whatever you want to call it before this. Studying is going well. Not gonna lie, feeling confident. I'm just gonna eat this now and then we'll get back to studying. See you later. Yummy. Enter phase two of my studying adventure. My school gives out these workbooks full of practice questions for each lesson. So I started on the questions for the first five lessons. My brain was feeling Feeling powerful, I was giving off Megamind vibes. Actually, Megamind is just a member of the Blue Man group with a five head if you think about it. Hey, I don't make the rules, the Illuminati does. Anyways, this momentum didn't last long, however, because at 3.45 I started feeling sluggish, I was exhausted and drained, and I was just writing chicken scratch. So I decided to go out for a run. I've been doing this more often recently, and I find that it does actually help get the chemistry out of my noggin. If you're wondering why I'm dressed to confront the Arctic, let me explain. At this time in Toronto, it's a solid seven degrees Celsius. To most Canadians, that temperature begs for a thick sweater or a light puffer jacket at most. But in Joanna weather, that's approximately negative 358.78 degrees Celsius. So needless to say, I'm bundled up like the Michelin man himself. I've never looked hotter. So now ladies and gents, it's around 5 p.m. I'm gonna eat dinner early today so that I can just study the night away, if you know what I mean. We have some pretty spicy meals on the menu today. So we'll walk through that together and then we'll just hit the books. Let's get cooking. I don't feel well. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I present to you another cooking segment. This time, I'm gonna show you what I ate for dinner. First up, that mean spaghetti squash. Two months ago was the first time I ate this specimen. It was cut in half and baked, and ever since then, I've eaten it that way. Today, however, I was feeling fed up with that stringy nonsense, so I took matters into my own hands. I took half a spaghetti squash, surgically removed its guts, and then diced it into Skittles! Then, instead of putting it in the oven, I took a very big round pan and placed 
place those little yellow cubes on high heat because we love to burn things on this channel. I let them sizzle for a while and try to get them crispy. I like when things are charcoal level burnt. Not really, but you get the point. In the end, they tasted good. I enjoyed them. I found them more flavorful than their baked counterparts, but that might just be me. Next time I should use some spices though. I mean, I did sprinkle some salt over it, but that's not a seasoning. Next, the cauliflower rice. This is literally the simplest thing ever. It's straight out of a college student's cooking book. Take raw cauliflower and grind it using a food processor. Then cover it with some plastic wrap and microwave it for five minutes. I'm not kidding, that's literally it. Once your five minutes are over, just douse it in salt and sprinkle some dill over it. I have to admit, this is really good. It was almost like a Veronica Wang viciously shoving noodles down her throat because she's scared it will run away from her type of moment. The moral of the story is I liked it. It was a solid five out of five squids. Finally, we have come to the real protein of the meal, quite literally. It's time for the tuna sandwich. I know, I know, at this point you're probably tired of seeing me make this dish, but man, I just can't shake it off. I'm literally determined to like this meal. If only the tuna wasn't so dreadfully awful, I might be a bit more lenient. I even tried to make it a little bit better by just dicing the cucumber instead of sculpting it into the bread buns, but in the end, my god, it was still bad. It's the tuna. If the sound of nails on chalkboard had a taste, I'm willing to bet it would taste like tuna. Moral of the story, no, I did not enjoy this, but unfortunately, I feel bad for wasting food, so I had to force it down. Everyone, I would like to give the news that I am officially six months pregnant with a food baby. I don't know the name yet. I don't know the gender, so stay tuned. Anyways, it's around 6.30 right now, so I'm gonna finish all the questions that I still have to do today, and then I'm gonna go to bed because tomorrow morning, we're doing this again. We have a lot to study, and I'm not giving up yet. You know, senioritis is putting up a big battle, but I'm not done fighting, okay? Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. Okay, so let's just get back into this. And then I finished the last of the questions. I was pretty tired at this point, so I was eager to get this over with. I was dragging myself to the finish line, and at 9.55, I crossed it. It was finally done, and I had definitely seen some better days. So I brushed my teeth, took a warm shower, and called it a day. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, it is absolutely freezing in this household. Ladies and gents, today we have the other half of the unit to go through. Not gonna lie, I really struggled with the second half. The first time the teacher went over this in class, so I'm gonna have to really grind today. Anyways, let's begin. I studied for one hour before things went really sour really quickly. Here's the thing, okay? I was really lethargic at this point. The last thing I wanted to be doing was studying. So I decided to listen to some vinyls while I was studying to hopefully cheer up my spirits a bit. Now, my vinyl collection has grown substantially over the past few months. Honestly, I might have an addiction, but Amazon Prime does not make it easy with the overnight shipping. When I study, I often like to listen to quite somber music because let's be honest, could you imagine trying to focus with the auditory chaos that is Kiss or the Rolling Stones playing in the background? Yeah, I didn't think so. Anyways, let me share with you some of the tunes I was listening to. Number one, If You Leave by Daughter. This vinyl has made me cry on three separate occasions. Every Every song on this track is more beautiful and ethereal than the last, so I highly recommend it. My personal favorite off this album is Smother, simply because of how dark it is, and if you actually read the lyrics, you realize how genius the writers are. Number two, All My Demons Greet Me As Friends by Aurora. Aurora is one of my favorite artists of this generation. Her work is so complex, and all of her songs have so much thought put into them. I don't know what drugs she's on to write such beautiful songs, but I just want to know where she gets them. Number three, Cigarettes After... <laughs> okay, let's not talk about the title of this vinyl, but other than that, this album is just another one that hits you in the feels. It has a really vintage sound to it, in my opinion, but I'm no music expert, so don't take my word for it. It's just good. I don't know what else you want me to say. Number four, this one's a weird one. Volume two of the Walking Dead soundtrack. Okay, stick with me for one second. Say what you will about the Walking Dead, but its soundtrack is one of the best ones I've ever heard. I find it so atmospheric, and it matches the tone of the TV show so well. My personal favorite would have to be Heavy Games by Portugal the Man, which is also one of my favorite bands. Woodstock was so good. I literally love every song off of that album. It's unhealthy, but that's besides the point. Number five, Strange Trails by Lord Huron. If you want to ugly cry at 4 a.m., listen to this album. Lord Huron is actually such an amazing group. I also have their most recent album, Vide Noir. I definitely butchered that, but whatever. And it's just as stunning. I highly recommend it. And finally, number six, we have Hunger by Florence and the Machine. Now, I was never a 
huge Florence and the Machine fan, but I have to give the woman credit. Her songwriting abilities are incredible and so full of imagery. I really enjoyed this album, and the yellow vinyl is just another plus. It looks like butter. I like butter. Wait, is this a camera? Have I been filming this entire time? I don't even remember turning it on. Hello dudes, what's up? I'm eating some scrambled eggs right now. I'm about halfway done studying for today. It really hit me earlier today, but I'm definitely on my game now. I fell off my horse, now I'm back on it. I lost my dog, I found the leash, now he's in my possession. The socks, they smelled bad, well guess what? I washed them. So you know what? I think we're doing pretty well. I really want this to be over, you know? I've been at this for what must feel like ages now. I can say with 2% certainty that I definitely grew 10 and gray hairs, so take that how you will. I'm gonna keep studying. I'm feeling a bit like an egg. I hope you can smell my eggy breath through the camera. <sighs> And then I got to doing the questions for those five lessons. My mood was lifted compared to that morning, but my motivation was definitely dwindling quickly. Around halfway through the mountain of work, procrastination decided to say hi. Suddenly, everything except for studying looked 10 times more fun to do. So I stopped studying. I organized my closet for the 50th time because I'm never satisfied with the way it's organized. I swear to God, that thing is like a puzzle and I can never figure out the right way to put it together. I cleaned my room because dust bunnies are not fun. I let off some steam with some Nerf gun target practice, I'm getting pretty good. Pitbull better watch his bald head. And I annoyed my mom because Mother's Day is coming up. She only deserves the best treatment. After a good two hours of this nonsense, I told myself, maybe I should stop procrastinating and got back to work. At this point, I no longer had motivation fueling my fire. It was panic. I had to finish those questions before school the next morning. I wrote like an absolute maniac. What I was even writing down at this point, nobody knows. I was writing something though, that's for sure. Anyways, it was 10.30 p.m when I finished studying. I was past the point of no return. I was a black hole, just sucking up energy, but I didn't complain. I had finished what I had set out to do. My duties were complete, and I went to bed with a sane and level mind. Oh my god, my math test.